Hello, good evening. This is Miss Xiao here. Today, I would like to cover the topic on area of a triangle for primary 5 mathematics. Now, we'll start off by listening to this lesson on YouTube, a very simple explanation of how the area of a triangle comes about and what the formula for the area of a triangle is. Next, we'll take a look at some examples of questions on area of triangle and let's attempt to do these questions together. Now, let's take a look at example 1. Find the area of the shaded part. The shaded part here is a triangle. We need to find the base of the triangle. So we identify this as the base. Okay. And as we can see, this base over here has the same length as this, which is 10 cm. How about its height? Now, the corresponding height that is perpendicular to the base will be this. And what would this height be? Now, take note that this height is vertical. Let's, take, let's compare with other vertical lines and hopefully we can find this length. The other vertical lines found in this diagram are here, this is 25 cm and this is 17. So we can conclude that this remaining length here has to be 25 cm minus 17 cm. So we can say that the height is actually 25 minus 17 and that gives us 8 cm. So base is 10 cm. The area of the shaded part will be half times the base times the height and that will give us 40 centimeters square. Now let's take a look at example 2. Shaded triangle. We need to find the base. So this must be the base. The base has to be one of the three sides of the triangle. So this is the base and we can easily find it because it is the same as 16 cm. Okay, so this is the base and corresponding height. Now, this would be the perpendicular height. How do we find this height? We realize that this height is actually the same as this. This is 12 cm. So this perpendicular height has to be 12 cm as well. So the height is 12 cm and the base is 16 cm. Therefore, the area has to be 12 times 16, sorry, half times 16 times 12. And we divide both sides by 2. We get 8 times 12, 96 cm square. Next, we take a look at example 3. So how do we find the area of the shaded part here? Now, let's take a look at this triangle which um, from here, how do we find the base? The base has to be one of the three sides of the triangle. So it can be either this, this, or that. So which would be the base that we want to look for? Let's see, based on the lengths 18 cm and 60 cm, which which value will be able to give us the length of one of the three sides of the triangle? You realize that you are not able to find this length at all. The second length here, you also can't find. But this particular length, yes, I think there is a chance that we can find this length, which is 60 divided by 3. So we have 60 divided by 3, that gives us 20. This will be the base of our triangle. So... Our base is 20. What's the corresponding height? Now, with this base here, our corresponding height that is perpendicular has to be this because it is a right angle and that is 18. So our height 
is 18. So area will be half times base times height. Divide. Divide. And we have 180 centimeters square. Now lastly, let's take a look at example 4. In the figure, PQRS is a rectangle. The area of the shaded triangle is 420 centimeters square. Find the length of the rectangle. Hmm. Now they give you the area and they ask you to find the length. Looks like the question is turned around. Let's take a look at the formula. Area equals to half times the base times the height. What are we given? We are given the area. Let's put area as 420. We write down half as half. Now between base and height, what are we given? We are given 21 cm. 21 cm, does it belong to one of the lengths of the triangle? No, it doesn't. So therefore, 21 centimeters has to be the height. Question mark is actually the base, which is what we want to find. So how do we find the base from here? Let's work backwards. 420 is equal to half times base times 21. Let's work out what half times 21 is first. Half times 21 will give you 10 and a half times of the base. So to find the base, it has to be 420 divided by 10 and a half. How do we work that out? 420 divided by 21 over 2. And you know that when you divide a number by a fraction, you have to turn it around. 2 out of 21. And we can divide both sides by 21. We get 20. Answer will be 40 cm square. Now, I hope you have a better understanding on finding the area of a triangle. Now, if you have any queries with regards to finding the area and you're not so sure, you could let me know and I can explain more to you. Goodbye.